Get a nerd, so playing Victoria 3. We are still working on our massive dockyard expansion, but I'm hoping, oh boy, that, that this number will get above a thousand and stay there once this is all done. To greener grounds. Satisfied with the state of politics in Scandinavia, Georg Brandis has declined his has declared his intentions to leave the country. Okay. All right. Sure. Great. Enjoy that. Um, that was the agitator we just got. I don't even know what he was agitating for, but he's he's gone now. So, the best of luck to you, sir. Let me see. He's a radical. Yeah, there are a lot of radicals around. So we've got quite a few uh, available radicals, but none I think that are interested in anything I'm interested in doing. We get Theodore Arntz, we could get Multiculturalism. And that would be Bananas. I think I'm gonna do it. I see he aligns with the Intelligentsia. Let's give it a shot. Go ahead and start your movement, Theodore. He's liked. And he's a political martyr. So. 29% chance to progress. Alright, let's do it. So what I'm hoping is that this will lead us to uh, eventually having that big immigration boom that I kept talking about, but that keeps not happening. And all of the, the economic growth that will come with it. Are we going down in prestige? I think we might be. All right, so now the Church of Sweden wants to preserve cultural exclusion. That's increased our stall chance, but our combined success chance and our stall chance is still about one and a half times the uh, amount of our stall chance. So I think I'm, excuse me, I think I'm feeling pretty good about this. Let's see. Coal remains an extremely expensive resource. Has rubber become affordable? It appears that it has. It appears that the AI has sorted itself out, which is very good. Helmut Griegleb has been exiled from Nassau, and Yahya al Nuaimi has been exiled from Oman. Are they new? Oh, I don't need to necessarily worry about that. I'm working on multiculturalism. It's going to be chill. So hopefully multiculturalism will allow us to see the uh, immigration boom that I was talking about. It seems the game has changed significantly since the last time... Uh, since I, I last did a run where I went for multiculturalism. Because I used to do it a lot in the first build of the game, back when you could basically, if you were already at national supremacy, which a lot of countries started at, you could basically go to multiculturalism on just the uh, intelligentsia being in power, and you mostly can't anymore because of the way they changed up the ideologies. 
All right. We've finally gotten enough convoys. And I think we're going to be able to stay that way. Well, now our convoys have gone down again, which means I'm concerned about our convoy numbers again. So we'll just go ahead and build up a few more. And we'll enjoy that. A stall. Obstructionism in the Petite Bourgeoisie. Theodore Arnst's rhetoric has drawn negative attention to the representatives of the Petite Bourgeoisie, who is condemned for obstructing the passage of multiculturalism. The Petite Bourgeoisie, a conglomeration of rats sitting in their gilded seats and claiming to serve the interests of the people. And yet the people have spoken, and it is the demand of those very people that they cease and desist. Pressure the petite bourgeoisie into cooperating for now. Interesting. Or we will not harm our relationship over one law. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to go with the enactment chance. Because I'm not... The petite bourgeoisie are very loyal right now. So I'm not really concerned about them. So that's going to give us some extra enactment chance. It's going to reduce... It's reducing the debate chance. But that's okay. Because we're closing in on double the chance of a stall right now. So hopefully that'll... And we just got a stall, so... And I know that doesn't actually affect anything, but... I'm hoping what that means is that we'll be... We'll be pushing forward... To get on with it uh, faster and faster. And that's my goal. Let's see. Where are we with technology? We're still working on conveyors. Actually, I'm going to do electrical capacitors first, because... Uh... Conveyors takes oil, and I don't have any of that. I'm still going to queue this up. It's still going to be useful in the long term. Uh, let's look at... The public motor carriages method will only cost a bunch more transportation and reduce laborers employed. So I'm going to do that. Oh. Feels like that wasn't the productivity bonus that I was hoping for. The steam omnibus. With government regulations on mechanically propelled vehicles loosening and more efficient steam engines being developed, steam-powered transport buses have begun to roam Svealand with greater frequency. The motor omnibuses are steam-propelled, and what is of importance in a town with of the character of or or uh, are entirely free from smell, noise, and vibration. We got some extra urban center throughput. Our taxing mechanical vehicles will provide the needed revenue. So there's a consumption tax on automobiles. I don't think that's useful, so we'll go with this one. Um, I'm also going to go with arcades at this point. Um, I have so much glass and steel in our market. There's steel and glass is here, and it's just, it's not going to affect hardly anything. And that's completely goofed their demand, but it's bringing down the cost of services, hopefully. I don't know. I, Again, I, I find it really hard to figure out what's going on with these urban centers a lot of the time. But it seems like whatever I'm doing is working, so... We'll see. How's the market for transport? It's doing perfectly fine. Um, and with services being dirt cheap, that's going to really... Hopefully, keep our standards of living for our upper, for our middle and upper strata high. If I make you the leader of the intelligentsia, that would displace this dork. But it would also probably pull him out of the Communist Party, and it might pull him into the Radical People's Party, which might be good, but it might be bad. Um, so I'm not sure. Also, I want to, uh, direct your attention to the fact that General Knut Nordstrom is at 80, 88 and still leading the armed forces, which is just, that's incredible. Like, imagine it. That, that guy has been alive since the beginning of the game. I don't know when I first brought him into the armed forces as a general, but the man is 
The man has been around a long time. He's definitely a veteran of all of Sweden's not wars. Scandinavia's not wars. I keep saying Sweden. I started as Sweden, but I keep forgetting that I've got, become Scandinavia, and that's going to bite me in the tail at some point. Uh, we definitely need to increase logging. I do chainsaws. That'll create a bunch of... Excellent. Well, I progress to study. Wonderful. Um, that'll reduce my coal needs, but increase my oil and tools needs. Reduce my engines needs. Engines are quite expensive. Tools much less so. Oil is at a good point, so I think we're going to do it. Why are you dropping in productivity? Why did you drop in productivity, walking camps? I can't believe you've done this. Um, but this would allow us to produce just a barrel full more wood. Let's do it. And that went down even more. What? Explain yourselves. <laughs> okay, well, let's not worry about that then. You're getting publicly traded. F it. Not the coal mines. Basically, at this point, with any of these buildings that can get more productive if I make them publicly traded, I'm doing it. Our livestock ranches seem kind of permanently too permanently low productivity. I'm just going to grab the livestock. Okay, no, there are no livestock ranches in Gauntland. The one in Norland is the one that doesn't have any uh, people working in it. I'm going to downsize it. Those people can work in other jobs. I feel confident there are other jobs in Norland. Munitions plants and whatnot. For the first time, we're developing a small base of radicals, and it's almost assuredly because the church is big mad that we're going to be uh, going to multiculturalism. But it's what we need for our economy to keep growing. So it is what's going to have to be done. Honestly, I don't really know what causes publicly traded to be productive versus not productive for a lot of these buildings. Um, I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's, it's, I don't actually know what causes it. Like, in these urban centers are hyper unproductive, but also, like, services are dirt cheap, and I feel like that's, like, something you do want to be happening. So it's kind of... It's a little all over the road for me, to be honest. We could definitely stand to export some meat. And all the usuals. Japan will buy meat. Coal situation is still really, really rough. I don't know. I could bring in some coal from Austria and Russia. Well, Russia's the trade route's not going to be very productive at all. But. So this is going to a bunch of different places, but primarily it's steel mills and all the, all the, all the businesses we've automated. So our trade routes are producing a good amount of oil at this point. So I think I'm going to try to get any business that's got a, an oil-based automated production method automated that way. Um, and then if we get an oil shortage, we'll buy it from abroad. Japan has a lot of oil. That's exciting. And America. Lovely. So we can get oil from those countries. Hopefully that will... 
sort our oil shortages. Any oil shortages we should have will be sorted by that. Are the trade routes going up? Yes. All right. Wonderful. So, next step. Oh, the steel mills can actually do a higher coal-based method. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, international exchange standards. That's good for our cash. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, this will be productive. Finland unredacted. We've had this event before, um, but I want to keep the trade unions and industrial and intelligence happy, so I'm going to do it. Sorry, Finland, but we're still amicable. We just, we like our freedom of speech so much. All right, and now it's going to be... So where's electricity? Electricity is pretty okay. Campaign of banquets. Uh, so this this event you've seen a lot before. I'm actually gonna go. I'm gonna not go with this one because I don't want Theodore Arns to get grifter because that will reduce his popularity, and I want his popularity to stay high so that he can keep working on getting multiculturalism passed. Right. I was working on the logging camps. Electric steel mills should be more productive. But that's only going to happen if we're exporting a lot of wood. So. We are exporting quite a bit of wood. But let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and do electric sawmills, and then we'll grab some export routes. Okay, so there are quite a few countries that will purchase our excess wood uh, from our extremely productive electric sawmills. So I'm going to go ahead and set up all of those trade routes, uh, and then we'll see where we're at with the logging camps. Okay, so they've become productive. So now, if we go to chainsaws, Okay, the game has assessed this as being very unproductive. So we're not going to worry about that for now. Wonderful. And just to make sure we stay good, we'll go ahead and scale up our ports. Population growth is through the roof right now. Smoke and Cabaret. The opening of a luxurious cabaret at the foot of Montmartre Hill has made the nightlife of Paris considerably lively, attracting, of course, the attention and suspicions of the conservatives. The women, the woman sighs throughout the report in a smoke-induced room. Incense and cigarettes are indistinguishable. So is vapor, even though it's impossible to know wh where it's coming from. The music is muffled here. Thick as syrup. Thank you for the company on these cold nights, she purrs, tossing the document into the fire. We were in much need of some extra fuel. No. Okay, I'm gonna... No, I'm not gonna worry about that. That place has it all. I think this has happened in Svirand. Um, That place has it all. Reduced authority. Extra urban center building throughput. Or the immoral joint be shut down at once. Uh, reduce bureaucracy, extra authority. Ugh. I like that one. Well, that's going to give us a deficit. Um, and we got bolt actions. Uh, I'm not going to enable bolt actions. I think we're producing an overwhelming abundance of small arms right now and not enough artillery comparatively. So, going to multiculturalism, blah, blah, blah. 
Let's go ahead and get a few more government buildings built. Uh, we'll take these up to the top to make sure they go. Uh, as fast as possible. Now we're getting landing craft spreading. That's wonderful. We just moved to voting for multiculturalism, so hopefully that'll be completed. So, next up, we have some kind of diplomatic play going on here. There's a uh, proletarian revolt in the Dutch East Indies. Cool. Not going to worry about that. Neutral. Um, whenever you've got a situation where there's a revolt... A lot of defensive pact countries will often just kind of bail. Paying 21.7k in welfare payments. I'm not hugely excited about that. So what can we produce more of? What do we need more of? Glass is expensive, but porcelain is not. Luxury clothes are expensive, but clothes are not. We're doing okay on lead. It's just a really interesting market. I haven't played the late game of Scandinavia much at all. Electrical oh. capacitor is unlocked. Wonderful. So that'll get us some automation methods for textile mills. I'm not going to go to uh, electric sewing machines quite yet because it's going to produce a huge excess of clothes and I don't need that. Um, I've got so much that I'm exporting a bunch of them already. I think the play is going to be to build up power plants uh, to get these pops employed. So how short are we on power? We can get about 600 more, so that's about 12 levels of power plants. Uh, so that's what we're going to have to do. And where do we have unemployment? It's mostly in the highly industrialized areas. Let's go with 10 levels here in Zealand. So once we've got these government administrations built, I'm going to take those power plants up to the top, and then I'll intersperse them with the ports. And that'll allow us to get all that going. The art of doing nothing. Advance. Um, yeah, we've already had this uh, event a number of times. I'm just going to welcome their support. And hopefully things will go fine. These government administrations should be producing plenty of bureaucracy for us once we get to the point where they're uh, where they're in operation fully. So, that should be good for us. Good for our finances as a government. Wonderful. Alright, so we'll get this set of ports completed and then we'll start working on the power plants. And I'm going to intersperse these so that we're continuing to build up the ports in Zealand and we won't have any problems. With not getting anything built. Perfect. All right. Get that going right away. So that's going to cost us some additional engines. We do actually have a little bit of a shortage in engines. Where am I producing those cars? In Scania. All right. 
and they're not selling very well at all, which is a little bit of a shame, but it is what it is. So, where have I got labor available to increase the size of the motor industries? Svianunt has plenty of uh, labor available. So with that, I think we'll move them up this way. I'm on like the edge of increasing construction capacity, I think, but I haven't been using all of mine yet, and I'm still like lower in terms of my potential uh, uh, Federal Reserve than I would like to be. So I'm not doing it right now, but there's definitely a part of me that wants to. I know this is really thrilling content, but I just want to get these interspersed here. Wonderful. So now we have multiculturalism. So what that should do, and that's given us a little bit of an authority shortage, but that shouldn't be that much of an issue. Interesting. So the church wants to restore cultural exclusion, but it's not going to happen. So what this should do is create those mass immigration things. And again, I already said that was going to happen a couple of times, and it did not. But I'm really hoping this time it does. Uh, in any case, that's the, that's the late game strategy that we're working with here. We are building up quite a few ports. Uh, and that's giving us plenty of convoy capacity. So I think the next thing we're going to build up is some additional government admin to handle all the convoy capacity. Uh, we'll build that in equipment and social costing. And that's not urgent, so I'm going to intersperse it with this other stuff. This one's in Scunny at the top, but this one's in Special Colstein at the bottom, so that I can intersperse these easily enough. Cool. And then we'll do the same thing. Over here. Ah. Expand Power Plants event. Wonderful. A stable supply of power. The recent expansion of the power plants in Svianant has inspired faith in a future where all of Sc Scandinavia is electrified. Trapping the power of the roaring rivers and waterfalls by transforming it into the power of a thunderstorm must be a sign that we are approaching the final stage of man's mastery of nature. Are we ready? Morally? Intellectually? Spiritually? It matters not. It is coming. Our options are, and I'm going to read them from the bottom just for comedic effect. There must be other ways to produce electricity. This gives us progress on steam turbine. Uh, all technology must be leveraged towards better trains. Gives us progress for electric railways. Or unlimited power, which gives us a bunch of extra power. I'm going to go with the better trains one. Uh, I really want electric railways. That's going to make everything, uh, that's really going to help with our transport situation. So that gives us a bunch of progress there. We don't have anything still in tier three for electric railways. So once we're done with conveyors, I think we can just go there. And you know what? I think, I think maybe, I think maybe we're going there first. We have a sway from Bavaria. I'm not, I don't want an obligation from you, Bavaria, but also I don't want to be in a war. So, I'm going to declare neutrality. I declare neutrality. I just dropped a bag clip on the ground that I've been fiddling with with my left hand. I don't own a fidget spinner, but I tend to fidget with whatever's kind of to the left of my laptop. That just kind of is my technique for keeping, keeping chill. 
It appears the Church of Sweden has left the movement for cultural exclusion, and that's that's good, so I'm hoping this movement will disband pretty soon. Hermann Jorgensen retired from heading up the armed forces and was replaced with another communist, Valdemar Treschow. Valdemar. Val Valdemar. We're keeping our number of convoys very high, so hopefully that will continue to uh, benefit us. So now that we've got a bunch of excess convoys, I'm going to see if there's markets for furniture uh, abroad, because we are just producing an overwhelming abundance of it. There's really not, friends. We're just producing as much furniture as we need, and that's just kind of the way it is. So that's fine. Um... Herman Jorgensen was, I think, an army guy. So, we don't have anyone in the North Germany area. We're just looking for someone who's capable. Tactful. Not great. Reduce morale damage. Uh, this guy is imposing. Reduce morale loss. He's a vanguardist. That's okay. Um, with that having been done, friends, we've done a lot of fine-tuning of our market, but uh, other than that, I'm hoping it's been a productive episode. We're continuing to use the, uh, the government to build up our economy, and I'm hoping that's going to continue to benefit us in the long run. But for now, I've had fun. I hope y'all have had fun, and I'll see you all on the other side.